What is up, Watch Fam, and welcome to Liquor Run. Happy Friday. I am Christian from Theo and Harris, and you are Roly from Theo and Harris. Uh, and on Fridays, well, Monday through Thursday, we talk watches. But on Friday, we talk wine. We talk value in wine. So what country are we drinking today? We're uh, going to take a quick flight out to France. Okay, cool. And we're going to talk a little Chardonnay. Sweet. Okay, we're going to be talking about uh, Louis Latour Ardèche Beautiful. Chardonnay. Very cool. How much was this wine? Nine dollars. Nine bucks. Well, if this wine is good, then we're in for a treat at nine bucks. We are, and I'll explain why. Okay, let's do it. First, wristwatch check. I am wearing uh, a vintage Jump Hour watch that you and Mom actually got me for my graduation. Yeah. Uh, how do you like the whole strap thing I'm doing right now? It's kind of fun, right? Actually, I really like the it way it looks. It looks a little looks, doofy, but it's kind of cool. It looks good. You know, I think it's kind of fun. To me, it looks better than the blue strap. Yeah, I like this better. Yeah. I, like I just can't better. see those numbers at this age. No, at this age. No. Actually, I bought this watch from a gentleman, an older guy, who told me, the only reason I'm selling this is because I l cannot read it. There is no chance of me no. reading this watch, so I might as well just sell it. Say, what so, time uh, is it? Well, you, I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> so what are you wearing, Dad? I'm wearing my uh, Cartier tank. I know I know some of you geeks will probably uh, Hang send me uh, hate mail that I call it a tank, <laughs> but it's a tank to me. It's square. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's Cartier. I mean, you know, I think that that's uh, a very interesting kind of like window into like kind of like understanding the market of Cartier. I mean, they've made a market uh, and a very prestigious one uh, around that tank watch. And they made so many variations and they asked the different names and stuff like that. But anything from, from Opus to, to, to Normal, it's all tanks. But, uh, but that's it. Let's, let's drink some wine now. So, yeah, let's 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 what do we, what do we know about this first. So, well, first of all, uh, so the, so let's talk a little bit about Louis Latour because okay. we have to talk about Louis Latour when you talk about Burgundy. Okay. So, Louis Latour has been making wine in Burgundy since 1735. Wow. Okay. So so they know their stuff. They know their Chardonnay. They know their Pinot Noir. Mm -hmm. These these are the, these are big guys. Big guys. Okay. Um, however. As any innovative company, you know, uh, the, the Latour family was not happy with a, very a variability in quality of Chardonnay grapes mm -hmm. in Burgundy mm -hmm. in the 70s. As we know, Burgundy wines, Burgundian wines can be very expensive. They are very expensive. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you're paying a lot more for wine that doesn't really warrant the, the cost. cost. So as a, as a, as a forward-thinking company, they said, how do we find wine that we can sell at a really great price mm -hmm. to really to boost our revenue. Mm -hmm. So they sent off some of their guys, one guy in particular, to find vineyards not in Burgundy, but south of Burgundy. Okay. Okay. Almost in the in the Rhone Valley, in the Rhone region, okay. by the Ardèche River. And that's the beginning of the story of this wine. In the 1970s, in 1979, they sourced, they found some some uh, you know winemakers that they were making, uh, they were growing Chardonnay grapes. And um, let's fast forward to today. They're selling about 2 million bottles wow. of uh, Louis Latour Ardèche wow. and Grand Ardèche Chardonnay. And how much is the Grand Ardèche? It's about $14. So it's still not like, you know, even the Grand is And, and very, to be very honest affordable. with you, this wine, the blind tasting, will give a lot of wine geeks a lot of a fits because it is so damn good mm -hmm. that, uh, that when you blind it... Um, you know, it, it really it, it packs a lot higher. It packs yeah. a lot of punch. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So, so. Uh, let's but let, let's uh, sniff. let's talk about this. It's got a straw yellow color, okay. right? A, a little bit. I would say maybe a little even more, a little more intense than mm -hmm. than other other uh, Chardonnays that we've had in the past. Okay. But uh, but a beautiful clear yellow. Okay. Right. So let's uh, let's give a whiff. Definitely, as I've, been, I've mentioned before, and it yeah. may sound redundant, but some some tropical fruit, okay. not 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 overbearing, but mm -hmm. in a really nice way. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of apple. Okay. Um, I also smell a little bit of vanilla, believe it or not, in this okay. in this one. Very very slight hint of van of of, uh, of vanilla or just really crisp fruit. Okay. Okay. So, but that, let's uh, let's do it. Let's taste. Let's right. Let's go. Oh, I love this wine. This is a great wine. So for the Americans that are, that are watching this Liquor Run series, if you're going out looking for a Chardonnay and you don't want to break the bank, look for Louis Latour. Why? Because they have wines that range from 
nine dollars mm -hmm. all the way up to four hundred and fifty dollars. They know what <laughs> they're doing. Big diversity, yeah. They, they are at the yep. pinnacle of great wine, wine and wine making. Okay. They don't compromise. So that, that was actually on, my that was actually my question. So, so to bring it to watches for a second, I was at a, I was at a breakfast uh, about last year maybe, uh, and there were two big figures you know s sitting at the panel. And one was from Langa, and one was from Chopard. Yeah. Now obviously we know Langa. Langa makes incredible watches. Not only their finishing, uh, but their their movement. I mean, design and construction is incredible. I mean, their weight of the German steel. It, it's it's an incredible watch, right? But and as Langa claims, and it's true from Tourbillon down to Saxonia. Langa is finished with the same degree of perfection, right? Attention, yes. right? No matter what you're spending, it's you're getting good. less. It's a good analogy. But not worse, just less. Okay, and the Chopard gentleman, who was also a very nice guy, who they have incredible watches from the LUC collection, but their contention is at different price ranges, you're getting different levels of quality. And, and that, that was the, and the longest guy just sat there and said, not here, not here. Well, you know, when you're spending four hundred thousand or or fifteen thousand at Langa, you're getting the same finishing, less, but the same finishing. So, do you think that this brand holds that kind of true at four hundred and at nine? It's it's not the same. It's not as good, but they're they're still have they have still have integrity and they still respect for their grape. Do you do you see what I'm saying? When you blindfold someone and you and and you do a tasting of this wine. And they can't tell, or they, or this wine is beating another wine that's maybe yeah. twenty to thirty dollars. Yeah, that's exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. It's the same commitment to quality. Yep. Yeah. Of course, like I said before, you're making two million bottles of this wine. It's a mass-produced wine, but you're not sacrificing on the finishing that you talked about right. with A Lang and so on. Yep. Yeah. That's why we suck down a lot of this wine yep. year in and year out from the spring throughout the summer and the fall and quite frankly even now in the winter. Yep. It, is, it is one of our go-to wines. Um, they don't need my props because they're a very successful nice company, company, but boy, do they get it right. Yep. I love this wine. Um, no BS. No BS. It's done right. It's Chardonnay in, a, in, in its... In its um, Really, in, in its purest form, mm -hmm. it's not from Burgundy. This is a, this is one of the top Burgundy producers, but they were smart. They yep. went outside of Burgundy. They caught some crap for doing that, but it doesn't matter. We're the benefactors. Yep, beautiful. So now, what are we going to eat this with? What would you uh, eat this with? Yeah. So so if if I'm going to have well, we'll we'll eat this with certainly with fish. Mm -hmm. This is a it's a great. Wine for fish because it's, it's not an oily wine like okay. some Chardonnays that you get that that are really sweet and they over they overpower uh, uh, dishes. Uh, pate if if you're into pate, man, this one is perfect for Great. that. Um, fish and even even uh, you know even if you're doing some antipasto or charcuterie if you're if you're if you're French and if you're doing if you're yeah. doing some cornichon some yeah. some grain mustard and, and pates this. and foie gras. Lovely wine, inexpensive. You don't have to be, you know, you don't have to spend a ton of bucks. Yeah, but you're getting and, a and terrific, boy, terrific wine. And boy, you're getting a terrific wine and no one will complain. That's why I love this wine. I love it. Let's pour another glass. Let's pour it. Isn't it great when we find good ones? Yeah, no, this this wine is this wine is awesome. We've had this quite a few times yeah. before. It's not my first time, yeah. uh, and 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 I consistently consistently love it. We there's actually uh, there's actually uh, it's called a supper club, but it's a seafood you mm -hmm. know place not too far from us, uh, and, and 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 we bring this wine there because you're doing oysters, you're doing yes. shrimp, you're it, doing some really delicious fresh yes. seafood. Uh, and this wine, when I see this bottle, it's exactly what I think of. Yeah, you know, summer Thursdays at at, at the restaurant. So. Uh, one more point. Yep. If um, uh, if if you guys like something that's a little bit more creamy, a little bit more vanilla in it, mm -hmm. I would say akin to a, a California Chardonnay. Ask your wine shop uh, it, to try the to to bring in the Grand Ardèche. So it's a, it's the same bottle, only it, the the lettering is in gold and it says Grand Ardèche. Mm -hmm. The big difference there is that. It ha it does have a little bit more oak, okay, and um, and it, it's a little bit creamier. It tastes a little bit more New World, okay. But once again, but but it has those classic, really those Burgundian style right. finishing, and that's what gives a lot of people fits. 
is that they're doing something so inexpensively, yep. but boy, they're, they're it, it, it's, 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 it's enough to drive you nuts. You know, because at, at nine dollars, you're not. Yeah. You know, we even yeah. refer to twelve, thirteen dollars as a relatively mm -hmm. inexpensive wine, as an affordable wine. But at nine, at nine, know, at, at nine bucks, there's really no excuse for you to be drinking shitty Chardonnay. Then you know, no. at, at nine dollars, no. if no. you're drinking. Chardonnay, no. you just haven't done your research. That's right. So uh, so that's it. Thank you guys yeah. for watching Liquor Run. I hope you genuinely go out and buy this wine because we have so many times over uh, probably could have you know bought another house with the amount of money we've spent on this on the, and we you uh, on this on this wine. But uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching Liquor Run. Try this wine. Let us know what you think. Uh, a la santé. A la santé.